Hello and welcome to the MCQ lecture series. I have MCQs with respect to financial systems paper 1. So let's get started. Here I'm looking at the network of commercial banks in the first MCQ. So therefore the network of commercial banks consist of what? And the current options are A is talking about public sector banks, B is talking about private sector banks, C is talking about foreign banks and D is talking about all of the above meaning thereby public sector, private sector and foreign sector banks. So what, what the network of commercial bank consists of? It consists of all the three along with regional rural banks. So here the correct option is all of the above. Let us now move to the next MCQ which I have. Scheduled cooperative banks are classified into here. No, I'm not talking about commercial banks. Here I'm talking about cooperative banks. So you have to read the questions carefully. Here I'm talking about cooperative banks. They are classified into what? A is talking about urban cooperatives. B is talking about state cooperatives. C is talking about both A and B meaning thereby urban as well as state cooperatives and D is talking about none of the above that means neither of them are a uh, are classification of cooperative banks or subclassification of cooperative banks. So here the correct answer is both urban as well as state cooperative banks. So here option C is our correct answer both A and B. Let us now move to the next MCQ which is talking about which of the following or limitations of the Indian financial system. So which of the following denotes limitations or weaknesses of Indian financial system. So option A is talking about lack of coordination. B is talking about the monopolistic structure. C is talking about the dominance of development banks and D is talking about all of these meaning thereby lack of coordination coupled with monopolistic market structure as well as dominance of development banks. So here the limitations or weaknesses of Indian financial system are given by all these three things and hence the correct option here is all of the above. I hope the idea is pretty much clear. Let us now move to the next MCQ which is talking about the functions of a financial system and the question is like this which of the following is our functions of Indian financial system or a financial system to be very precise. So here the correct uh, the, the options given to us are provision of liquidity is option A, mobilization of savings is option B, capital formation is option C, and option D is talking about all of the above. So if you have understood the Indian financial system and its functions, all these three are the functions of Indian financial system, meaning that by provision of liquidity, mobilization of savings, as well as capital formation are functions of any financial system to be very precise. And therefore here, the correct option is option D, which is talking about all of the above. Let us now move to the next MCQ, which is talking about the long form sort of a question. Here I'm looking at the long form of EXIM or EXIM. So the options given to us are Export Import Bank of India. The second option is Exchange Investment Bank of India. The third option is talking about both. Both of these are correct. That means both A and B are the long forms of EXIM as well as D is talking about neither A nor B meaning thereby neither A is true nor B is true and therefore this is the correct option. And here if you know what the full form or long form of EXIM is then the correct answer here is Export Import Bank of India which is option A. So this is how you look at the long form questions. Let us now move to next MCQ which is talking about which of the following is our characteristics of Indian financial system or financial system to be very precise. Here I was talking about the functions of financial system. Here I'm looking at the characteristics of a financial system. So therefore the underlying options are option A is talking about low risk. Second is top, talking about provides loans and advances. Third is talking about asset storage. And the last is talking about all of the above. So these are all the different characteristics of a financial system and therefore the correct option here is option D which is all of the above meaning thereby low risk, it provides loans and advances and it is a sort of asset storage. Let us now move to the next question which is talking about which is the apex institution in the financial system and the underlying options here I'm looking at the Indian financial system to be very precise. And the underlying options are option A is talking about the Reserve Bank of India, which is also the Central Bank of India. Then we have State Bank of India. Then we have Ministry of Finance and then we have all of the above. So here the apex institution here, I'm looking at the apex institution, meaning thereby the Central Bank of any country. And in case of India, it is the Reserve Bank of India. Let us now move to the last MCQ in this session. Here I'm looking at the long form of another long form sort of a question, the long form of RBI. Yeah. So what is the long form of RBI? Whether it is A Reserve Bank of India or B Royal Bank of India 
or C Regal Bank of India or D all of the above. So here this is a very easy question. The long form of RBI is Reserve Bank of India which is option A. So I hope the MCQ sort of questions are pretty much clear. Please stay tuned for more. Thank you.